welcome everybody. My name is Rob Valencius, and this is uh, kind of part of our installment that we're doing, Why Pinnacle? Um, this one's going to be centered a little bit about technology. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what we currently have, uh, some of the stuff that we're utilizing here in the office that I think that you guys can utilize as agents, and uh, a little tidbit about the future that we're, we're pretty excited about. So uh, a couple housekeeping notes. Uh, one, you'll notice that you are in listen-only mode. Uh, that does not mean that you can't ask questions. You can certainly raise your hand if you'd like, or uh, you have a chat box, and you can just you know ask me whatever question comes to mind. Uh, you know, I'm... Uh, I know I will try to get to them as soon as possible, uh, or if I think I'm going to hit that topic, um, you know, sit tight. Uh, other thing, this is being recorded, so if you, uh, you know, have to take a call, look, I understand uh, time is money. Uh, we don't want you missing anything, so feel free to hop off uh, and let me know. We can always send you out the recording, a link to the recording afterwards. Uh, some of the stuff that we're going to be talking about can be a little bit intensive. It's, it's a little bit new. Uh, you're going to be hearing a lot about some of this stuff over the next uh, probably 10, 15 years. So uh, my background is in IT. Uh, I don't <laughs> don't really use it as much. Uh, actually, more so now because we've been uh, doing some different things here in the office. So it, it has uh, helped a little bit. But uh, the things that we're going to talk about from a technology standpoint, we're going to start with our website. So uh, there is a bunch of things on our website. A lot of people don't realize it even exists, so I'm going to point some of those things out to you. Um, we're not going to go in depth. This isn't like an in-depth webinar. Um, it's really just kind of to talk about the tools that we have available to you, as well as what we have in the pipeline. So this is just really designed to kind of keep you uh, informed, keep you, you know, kind of exactly where you need to be in terms of uh, what we have in the pipeline, and uh, hopefully. Uh, some of our future stuff we will have available uh, before AEP. Uh, we're working on that now. So uh, let's obviously start with online enrollment platforms. Uh, I'm not going to go into details with these. Uh, hopefully some of you are utilizing these, but we actually are one of the only brokerages in the entire country that gives our agents access to all three of these platforms at no cost. Um, so we have Connector. We have My Medicare Bot and we have Sunfire. A lot of people are going to be familiar with Sunfire and Connector at this point. They're kind of the two, uh, you know, big headlining uh, online enrollment platforms for Medicare products, and uh, that that involves Advantage, some supplements. They added Dental Vision Hearing uh, for Connector. There's Hospital Indemnity available through there. So uh, they have been hands down our best approach when it comes to enrolling people. Now, I'm an agent. I'm certified contracted ready to sell with Pinnacle. Uh, I have a relatively decent book of business. I use Connector and Sunfire. I actually like some of the different things that they both have, so I actually use both. They don't speak to each other uh, due to HIPAA, but they are uh, hands down the best software that you can get. Now, my Medicare bot you might not be familiar with. Um, it was more of a um, call center platform and it's lacking with the amount of people and carriers that they have. Uh, we're actually going to be doing a webinar with them soon, hopefully within the next few weeks, uh, where we'll have some training of some of the stuff that they have going on. But they have a really cool platform, uh, you know, and, and all of these have call recording. I know that's a big thing. Uh, personally, I don't use any of them for the call recording. Um, I think the call recording, although it is free for you guys, we actually pay for you guys to have the call recording. We don't charge you for it. Uh, it's just very lacking. I use Ring Central. I pay for that personally. Um, I think it's the, one of the easiest recording platforms. And I mean, Ring Central has everything. You know, uh, you know, Pinnacle doesn't endorse this, but this is just agent to agent. Um, you know, they have faxing. They have the call recording. They have different phone numbers and extensions, and you can set up, um, you know, auto call, auto record. I mean, there's there's a lot of cool stuff. So if you're still looking for a platform, I highly recommend taking a look at Ring Central. And there is other softwares out there that are like Ring Central that might be cheaper for you. Certainly, you can do that as well. Uh, now, with all of these, uh, just some tidbits coming up for the new year. Um, 
Connector is going to be adding some things. Sunfire is going to be adding some things. And my Medicare bot is going to be adding some new features for 2024's enrollment. So uh, sit tight and stay tuned on that. Um, Connector and Sunfire add stuff actually all the time now. It used to only be once a year, right before ADP, but they add features all the time. Um, I do think that where they are now is light years compared to where they were a couple of years ago, uh, but they still have a lot of stuff to, to work on. Uh, I talked about this in the last webinar that I did, uh, but I figured it'd be um, prevalent when we're talking about this stuff. So we do have a design services here. Um, I'm part of our marketing team as well. Yeah, I kind of I kind of wear a lot of hats around here, so uh, I've been around long enough. But we actually have the design services team, and they do a ton of stuff for Aegis that a lot of people don't realize. Uh, so, I mean, I can actually just sh quick show you. So we actually do uh, logo design and website design for all of our contracted agents, whether you do Medicare with us, life, annuity, final expense, uh, we will set this up for you. Uh, now, this is obviously only if you're contracted and certified with Pinnacle. Obviously, if you get a release, that's a, yeah, it's a no-go. But uh, we actually will uh, create the website, and this is actually what an example page looks like. Uh, the, the two requirements for you is that you need to have a logo, a business look professional logo, and you need to purchase a domain from GoDaddy, uh, is who we recommend because it's the easiest one to set up. Um, and I have some videos and I can help people and show you how to do it if, or do it for you. I do it for people uh, all over the country. And uh, it's very straightforward. Uh, you give us, you supply a lot of this stuff. There's a couple different pictures you can choose from. You give us all this information. You need a professional headshot. And then you kind of select these different things. This helps with your SEO, your search engine optimization for online. Uh, we have a lot of keywords and things in here to help uh, with search searchability um, to help your um, your page pop up somewhere. Uh, this is for your Medicare products. Uh, we ask for the Sunfire shopping link that everybody gets. Um, no matter what, even if you don't use it, you get a shopping link for both Sunfire and Connector. Uh, in your profile. So even if you don't use one or the other, you do have a profile because we create them here in the office. Uh, so you have, everyone has this if you sell Medicare. Uh, so we set that up for you. Uh, this is a uh, compliant lead form. So we are not involved in this. Whatever email you give us, if someone fills this out, you will actually get the lead sent directly to your email that you supply to us. And obviously anything that you put here as well as your socials, that's all given to us by you. And you know we have the uh, Medicare uh, required things at the bottom here to, to keep the page compliant. So this is free, this is something we do. If you don't have a logo, which this is required, we actually also do logo creation. Uh, these are some of the logos we've created. Uh, they're in black and white, they're, they're actually all in color. Uh, but you know, these are just examples. Uh, we can do that for you as well. I mean, if, if you've ever gone to actually get a logo created, they're very expensive. Um, so we do that here for free for you. So this is step one um, if you're looking for that. And I know a lot of people don't have professional logos and they don't have websites. So I figured this would be a good thing to bring up because it plays into um, you know, the technology piece. And you know, on our site, page one here, the couple things I always point out is the Medicare toolkit and the TPMO marketing and recording regulations. So if you're unfamiliar, you know, I talked about this in the past, I'm not gonna go over it today, but if you're unfamiliar, the Medicare toolkit's gonna have everything for certifications. So you definitely wanna check that out. Uh, certification season, uh, as crazy as it is, is right around the corner. Uh, you know what, seven weeks-ish. So uh, that'll be here before you know it, as well as the uh, marketing rules. So TPMO is third-party marketing organization. That's what insurance agents are classified as. And that was what they put in place with the call recording the last time. So uh, I had a question here. Uh, how do we get the website logo creation site? Do you have a link? Yes. So uh, it's really simple. Um, if you want to start the process, you're going to want to start with the logo creation if you don't have a logo. So all you have to do is go to connect the number four 
agents.com and then click the logo creation here and it'll take you to this form to be filled out. Uh, so this way, you know, you start with the logo and then we can, the website, actually we have it down to the point where we could typically have a website done and designed for you within 24 hours. The logo is really what takes the most longest because our designers are creating this from scratch based on the, the stuff that you give them. So yeah, absolutely no problem. I'm, I'm happy to help. So uh, like I said, that's important to know. So if you're unfamiliar, we're going to be updating the TPMO marketing uh, recording page because the 2024 final rule came out. And of course, there's a bunch more regulations that affect all insurance agents that it's going to be big. So uh, you know, stay tuned for us uh, taking care of that for you. Um, in terms of uh, other technology, uh, the only other thing within our website would, well, we have a ton of quoting engines. So uh, they're all built into the website for annuities, final expense, Medicare supplements. So if you have any, uh, or term GUL, we have a lot of uh, different things that you could submit directly through the website. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna go into a lot of that stuff today either. Uh, the other thing we have here is secure email. So um, from a technology standpoint, it's nice to have this because if you are trying to send us an application or anything that has relevant HIPAA related data for your client, the best way to do it would be to use our secure email, which we give you for free. It allows you to send us a secure email and it only has the ability to send it to somewhere in Pinnacle. Uh, so why is that important? Have, I, I don't know if you've ever had this issue, but maybe you went to send a Rob an email and you have five Robs in your contact address and you sent it to the wrong Rob by mistake, which that's happened to me. I've got a couple people with the same name, first name that, you know, I'm not paying attention or I'm doing six different things at once. And if you send an application or if you send HIPAA related data to someone that's not supposed to have it, that is what they call a breach. Now you can get in trouble for that. Uh, and you know, some of the carriers are even requiring you to report yourself to them uh, for corrective action. So it's important to have tools that are gonna protect you. And the secure email, if you're looking to send us uh, you know, something specific, especially an application, I'd highly recommend doing that. It's free to use um, and that's built in here. There we go. Didn't feel like scrolling all the way down there, but it tells you how to start it and it has the instructions available here for you as well. We do have some other things available uh, that is not built within the website. Two of them are Agent Vision, which is right in front of you on the screen here, and Agency Block. So Agent Vision is a client and sales data aggregator. So what happens is, is any data that we have from the carriers is automatically uploaded into this system and you are able to log in and see your business as well as see if anything has been uh, lost or dropped. So uh, we've had them for a couple of years now. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's a little difficult. Um, I do have some training videos on it. So if anyone's interested, this is something that we one of two or three things that we do charge for, I, I believe for an agent is like, it's like eight bucks a month or 10 bucks a month. It's pretty cheap. Uh, but it does give you the ability to kind of see a window into your business. And then agency block is a CRM system. Uh, if you don't know what CRM stands for, it's client retention management system. Uh, at least that's what I like to call it. And basically it allows you to have a window into your business. Uh, that, if you're an agent with Pinnacle, is 10 bucks a month and really just kind of gives you a window into your business. doesn't allow you to do a whole lot of stuff, like you can't edit anything in the system or upload a whole bunch of stuff because it is our system. Uh, now, to skip ahead a little bit, uh, we are, as a company, actively working on a new technology, and I, I can't get into it with you guys right now, but uh, I will tell you, it's gonna have an agent portal, it's gonna be all-encompassing, it is going to rock your socks off, okay? Uh, we're really excited about it, and we're hoping to see, we're hoping to be able to roll it out before AEP, but I can't get into specifics, but it's gonna have a lot of really cool stuff built into it, and it's gonna take us and you to a whole nother level. 
So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm sure we're going to be doing a lot of training on it um, once everything rolls out, but we're, we're pretty excited, um, you know, where that goes. Um, I had a question here. Can you do voice signature with Sunfire and Connecture? Some older customers, not tech savvy, and they're not willing to be able to take the time to get an email or text especially with the new 48-hour SOA rule. Yeah, so uh, Angela, that's, that's a good question. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with the new final rule for 2024, they are re-implementing the 48-hour scope of appointment rule for Medicare, which is just asinine. <laughs> uh, there is going to be some stipulations with it, though, like the last couple days of an enrollment period, uh, you know, you can waive having a scope. Uh, which means, which is going to lead me to believe that most agents are going to wait until the last couple of days of an enrollment period to enroll somebody. Um, or if you have a walk-in, so if you have a, you know, a front-facing office or something like that, uh, you know, it's going to waive that. Now, uh, Angela, those don't have the capability for voice signature yet. What we hear is they are looking to add those features and have them available for AEP. Uh, it's not 100% yet. Uh, my Medicare bot does have some stuff that they're working with, and voice signature they've confirmed with us will be available. The problem with my Medicare bot, like I said, is there's only like four carriers. So it's kind of tough uh, to be able to utilize that. Uh, so hopefully, um, this AEP, you will have the ability uh, to do voice signature, which I know is is pretty big, and, and it's definitely something that, that the platforms need because not every um, person that you're working with, you know, is, is savvy with any technology or the internet, or maybe they don't even have a computer. So uh, that that is a great question. So hopefully we can see that for every platform uh, for AEP this year. Now, uh, one thing I wanted to touch on, and I'm sure a lot of you on the on the call have, have heard a lot about artificial intelligence, uh, AI, over the past couple months, um, it's only going to get incredibly uh, cumbersome when it comes to the AI stuff. I mean, there is AI, artificial intelligence for everything. Um, you're going to start to see more and more people lose their jobs. Uh, it's an unfortunate thing, but anytime a new uh, groundbreaking technology is implemented, jobs are gone. I mean, it, this goes all the way back. I mean, when they introduced, you know, trains. And when they introduce cars over horses and the internet, I mean, these things are just going to revolutionize. Uh, you know, social media pretty much, you know, destroyed newspapers. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's one of those things where I think that you will see the value as an insurance agent. Now, artificial intelligence, it does. You do not have to be an expert to be able to use it. Okay, so for instance. We actually have an artificial intelligence bot that's, that's actually within our platform here. Um, it's only good for anything that's on Pinnacle. Uh, so um, you know, you can ask it simple questions. Uh, yeah, I actually asked this who who this is before, right? So uh, it can get a little snotty with you because it, it gets has somewhat of a personality, but. Uh, the cool thing about this is, is if you have simple questions that might be able to be answered through our website, you don't have to, I mean, we have a lot of stuff on our website. I mean, even just these tabs, if you click on one of these tabs, there's tabs and tabs. So we've been working on this website for many, many years, and it has so much really cool stuff, but sometimes it can be a little confusing. So uh, this bot is nice. You can actually ask it um, anything, and it should be able to pinpoint you where you need to go, who you need to call. Uh, but it utilizes artificial intelligence. So I wanted to kind of show this today, do a little demo because I do think it's pretty cool and I do think it's important. This is Chat GPT. Uh, now I have their paid plan because I play with it a lot, uh, but I also have beta or alpha access to a lot of different features that a lot of people don't have that I applied for. Uh, so this is pretty cool stuff. Now, Chat GPT is. It's hard to explain, but it's it's a language model, and they basically they train this robot or they train this computer, this server, with as much knowledge as they can possibly train it. And then once it has all that knowledge and it's uploaded with that knowledge, 
then they they use all these different learning techniques to train the knowledge that it has so it can provide useful information to you um, now there's going to be a lot of different versions of this um, there's some really cool stuff in the pipeline so i don't know if anyone's seen here but you know microsoft just announced uh, well, I'm sure people have seen the stuff that Bing, I mean, not many people use Bing or Internet Explorer, <clears throat> but they, they did implement an AI bot into those. But they're actually going to be putting an AI bot into Microsoft Office. So it's going to be able to do some pretty incredible stuff. You'll be able to feed it a document and say, hey, I need a, a PowerPoint presentation built off of this. And it'll be able to build you a PowerPoint presentation based on the document you gave it, and then you can kind of tweak it the way you want. I mean, honestly, kids are spoiled now. I mean, <laughs> if I was in high school and I had some of this software, I would have spent, you know, 20 minutes on my homework and I would able to do whatever I want, you know, so kids are going to get pretty spoiled. But uh, there's some other AI technologies that are going to be re really prevalent. Now, the cool thing about ChatGBT and it's it's very similar to Google, right? You're going to ask it a question. However, Google typically just provides you with websites or answers, and it doesn't really have any uh, real kind of impact to it. With ChatGPT, and let's just do the standard one that's non-web browsing. This actually, if if you're going to take your content to the next level, okay? Say you have a professional website and you want to start writing blogs. Well, this would be step one, because this can actually create the topic for you, create the outline for you, write the blog for you. And then what you need to do is you need to take that, and actually there's, there's other AI software out there, I'm not going to go into this today, that actually look at your blog, and it will actually mix up the words that you put into that blog from here, so that, because Google has AI technology that will actually uh, analyze something that you put up and it'll say okay this was written by an AI bot and it'll actually hurt your SEO so you do have to kind of run this through other things but let me just kind of show you some of the cool power behind it so um, let's see you know I tend to say please a lot with these bots uh, just in case you know they ever happen to take over the world uh, at least I wasn't you know an a-hole to them <laughs> but I don't know why I do that you don't need to uh, let's see give me Five topics about selling Medicare. So this will take a sec. <clears throat> It'll bounce back five different blog topics. Now you'll notice I selected Chat GPT four. Um, there's different models. GPT four is the newest model. Um, and it ha <clears throat> it has more uh, variance, has a little bit more of a consciousness, so it's going to give you way more differentiated topics uh, than ChatGPT three or uh, three point five. So if you have the ability to use it, and this is only twenty bucks a month, if you want to do the um, you know the the actual model, I recommend it. This thing has saved me. <clears throat> a lot of time and you know not just on blogs but on other social media content that i do and things like that so this is a really cool tool and for 20 bucks a month it dwarfs probably anything that you're going to use all right so now we have our five blog topics um let's see here let's do blog topic number two so then the big thing you have to understand is the way you talk to this is the answers that you're going to get out of it. Uh, so you're going to start to see a lot more people have to be, um, you don't have to necessarily know the topic, but you have to be able to ask this bot in a way that's going to give you the content that you want. It's, it's, it's like talking to a, you know, a kid or someone that's like brand new to something. You have to direct exactly what you want or you're not going to get the response that you need. Okay, so then what you'd want to do is you'd want to create an outline. So create an outline for option two. Okay, so there's the title. Now what it's going to do, it's going to write an entire blog outline for me. 
based on the, the topics that it already created for me. So how much work have I had to do here? What, five seconds of work, uh, you know, on something that would have maybe taken, you know, an hour just to think about. Um, you know, and blogs don't have to be complicated, but this really creates a such a solid base for you. And this is going to fly through this. I mean, just the sheer level and speed that this creates content is crazy. Now, keep in mind, this isn't fully connected to the internet either. This is just based off of knowledge it was fed. So uh, you do have to be careful about uh, asking it. Like if you asked it about the final rule for 2024, it's not going to know what that is because this only has knowledge up to 2021. Uh, but they started adding in plugins. Uh, and I, I'll kind of demo that for you real quick before we stop this. But all right, now we have our outline, right? Now, Let me a let's do let's it tries if you give it a word count it's not very good with it but we'll just say you provided so now it will go and it will write a blog based on the outline that it provided based on the topic that it provided um I mean, it's pretty incredible stuff. And a lot of times people don't realize it until they really see it, right? So we've been working on this for two minutes and I almost have a full blog that I'm gonna be able to take and utilize for my website or you know, maybe if you have a big LinkedIn following uh, or you have a Facebook page. I mean, this is gonna make you sound incredibly intelligent on your topic and you might already know all this stuff right but you know like i said before time is money so this really takes a lot off your plate and it allows you to be so much more um proficient in kicking out content in today's digital age right because social media uh blogging content uh, people get bored quickly or people Google things that they want to see. And if you have something like this available on your website, you don't have to do it every day. But if you did one every day, I mean, look, it, it didn't take long. Now, um, I said 500 words. It's probably, if we look at the word count. Now, you can even get more specific. So if I, if I wanted to say, you know, rewrite the introduction and say this, it'll actually rewrite just the introduction. You know, and, you know, let's do this. Rewrite the introduction and make sure you mention the agent name, Robert Valencius. So now it's going to rewrite the introduction and see that as a Medicare agent, Robert Valencius knows the words of helping seniors. And it's just going to rewrite the introduction based on me plugging in my own name into that it's pretty wild right i mean this this stuff freaks me out not, i'm the big tech head so uh linda good question any rules about plagiarism no there's no rules because this is being created out of out of nowhere it's not pulling anything from online it's creating this as we're talking but like i said uh i want to say it's copy.ai I think this is it. It's one of these. Uh, I think it's copy.ai. You might have to Google it, but there's a, an actual service that's free that you can actually plug in. Yeah, I don't remember the name of it. I have I have it saved in my in my browsers. Uh, but you'd have to plug in whatever it gives you into that, and then it'll tell you, okay, it's looks like this is 75 percent written by an ai bot so let's change this and then it'll make it unique even more unique so that it doesn't look like a artificial intelligence wrote it okay um so that's really kind of what i wanted to show you guys today just the power and this is something we're getting very prevalent with here let me show you um plug in so they're adding new stuff all the time. So 
let's look at Expedia and Kayak. Uh, it's not going to let me do Kayak. Okay. Uh, give me the cheapest flight with no layovers from Philadelphia, PA, to, uh, we'll say, Atlanta, Georgia. So it's starting with these plugins, and this is alpha. I'm connected to it based on this. So now it's connecting to Expedia, and it's going to take the prompt I gave it, and it's going to give me the cheapest flights with no layovers. Now, obviously, you can do this through Google if you want, but this is connected literally to Expedia, and it even gives you the link to book the flight to Expedia. So I had to ask for permission to get uh, from uh, Chat GPT, OpenAI is the parent company, to to get into the plugins. But this is just just the start. Okay, so um, you know this is something I I wanted to show you. And then so say I wanted to book this flight. Oh God, Frontier. Ooh, uh, <laughs> I I would I would never book this flight. But say I wanted to do that, I could click here. It's going to take me exactly to the page. To book the flight and I didn't give it a date so this is Friday June 2nd so if I had given it a date it, it would have pulled up something you know wherever I asked it to but this is just that's only some of the plugins that are available um, there this is the different plugins so they have uh, tasty recipes Lowe's I mean some of these are new Zillow um, you know, if you want to look for different real estate, which I'm trying to buy a house right now, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it is a, uh, it is mentally taxing to look for that. Uh, they do have a new web browsing version, so let's uh, let's do this. Um, what is the 2024 final rule in regards to Medicare and insurance agents? So this is going to think about it. Now it's going to browse the web for you. And it's going to it's going to figure out what the 2024 final rule is. Look at that and then it's going to summarize it for me. So this is a little bit slower than 3.5 cuz it it actually has more of a consciousness. So it's going to really think about it go through and figure out the topic. Like right now it's probably looking at a bunch of different websites for you to pull the content. So, I mean, if anyone here doesn't think this is wild, please raise your hand because I'm telling you right now, you know, this stuff freaks me out <laughs> and I love it. So I can only imagine if, if you've never seen something like this or, or pulled the content from it, how, how wild it could be. But uh, this is something I wanted to show because this is something that, we are utilizing, and we actually have a lot of other stuff. I and mean, we actually use, uh, there is um, AI bots that look like humans and talk like humans. Uh, and we're actually using them in, in a lot of our marketing pieces. So, you know, we're on the forefront of technology. And I want everybody here to understand that everything that we're doing over the next year, we're going to constantly put this stuff out. A lot of the stuff that we're going to do, we're going to put out so that you do not have to spend money out of your pocket. We're doing our best to make sure that, you know, all the charges and occurrences are as much on our side as possible. And we're always going to be on the forefront of technology. And I will tell you, I've been for here for over eight years. We were one of the first brokerages to contract and start writing with Connecture. And I can tell you at that time, it was, I think, a um, it was a lot of money. It was six figures, if not more. Uh, and we had to sign mul multiple year contracts in order to use them. So we were one of the first to do it. We're always going to be one of the first to do it. And I think, you know, once you see some of the new um, content, the new technology that we have out um, going forward, we're always going to be doing whatever we can to help you be more efficient, um, you know, in that. So Looks like this is struggling a little bit. So once, I mean, this is an alpha call. So I don't know how long this is going to actually take. Oh, look, look, it's literally telling you, clicked on. Oh, it's actually reading. <laughs> wow. So the reason why it's taking so long is it's actually on CMS's website right now. And it's reading the actual document. This is a 760-page document. 
that's probably why this is taking forever to do. So uh, we're not going to sit here and wait because I'm sure it's probably, you know, driving itself crazy just trying to read through that document as it is. So um, do we have any questions? I think you guys hit me with a couple. I do not see anything as it is. So uh, why don't we end there, guys? I mean, I, I kept you for a little bit longer than, I, than I've been trying to, but I do think that um, a lot of this stuff you're going to be seeing, it's going to become more and more prevalent. Uh, whether you're tech savvy or not, I highly, highly recommend you jumping on the wagon because if you don't do it, someone that is tech savvy, regardless of age, is going to do it. And it's going to make them very, very good and very, very fast and very, very efficient. And it's going to make it difficult for you as an agent to keep up. So, uh, you know, we'll end with that. And I just wanted to take time and thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, absolutely. No problem, Nicole. Thank you for hopping on. And uh, look, if, if you like this content, you let me know. I'll, I'll put out more and more. I, I'm, I'm, I love technology. So, you know, this is uh, always hits home for me and, and putting this out because I think a lot of people um, struggle with this. So feel free to let me know. Give me, uh, give me, send me an email. My, my info is on the website. Let me know how you like it. And if there's anything you'd like me to add to any of these, I'm always open for uh, any feedback that you have. Okay. So thank you very much. And I hope you all have a, a great afternoon. Have a great day. Thank you.